Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the real United States and welcome to Lower Senatorial Park or Lower Senate Park. And uh, I stopped here as I, I, I just can't help myself. Uh, when I run across one of these things, I like to share it with you all. This is kind of an unusual thing. And uh, that thing right there, that big green knobby fruit is an Osage orange. And it's not an orange in the conventional sense. Sometimes uh, in slang terms, they'll call that a monkey brain because it's ribbed to like a brain and about the size of a monkey's brain. That's the common or slang name for them. Osage orange, a little more technical. I don't know the genus and species. I will put that on the screen below here. Um, these actually did play a part in American history. These would be collected by people and put in a basket in the corner of the room. They were used as an insect repellent. Now, I don't know how effective they are, um, although they do seem to work. At one point in, uh, in our marriage, Beverly and I actually did this. We, we got a bunch of these and we put them in a basket and put them in the corner of the room. They did seem to keep the mosquitoes and whatnot away. Now, there were several trees here growing. A rather pretty tree. And Bev's gonna try and pan up and show you one that's still hanging on the tree, these Osage oranges. Okay, Bev's gonna zoom in and show you uh, some of these that are still hanging on the tree, these Osage oranges. Uh, it's a, it's a kind of a pretty tree. And uh, these it's early November right now and they're just starting to fall off the tree. So this is something that you're going to get in the fall. These are fairly common through the central states. We're in uh, Washington, D.C., between Maryland and Virginia. I've seen them down as far as Texas. So the range is kind of the central states. Uh, again, this was North Texas. You don't find them in the deep south or the far north, kind of through the center of the nation. And uh, again, these were something that uh, they used on the Madison plantation at Montpelier to keep the insects away. So just an interesting thing. Uh, I, I don't know, I understand that uh, you may be able to feed this to some livestock. I don't necessarily recommend it because I don't know uh, what what the uh, chemical composition of them are. You could probably look that up online. But that is a monkey brain or Osage orange. And uh, here in Senate Park in the capital of the United States, Washington, D.C. So I'd like to thank you for joining us here on The Real United States. I hope you've enjoyed this small segment on the Osage orange. If you haven't already, I encourage you to pick subscribe and come along for future adventure. And uh, if you've got questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do the best I can to answer them. I try to get back to everybody I can. And as always, thank you for watching.